So you're thinking of moving to the exclusive golf course community of Shady Canyon in Irvine, California. Well, in this video, we're going to go over the pros and cons of, of owning a home in Shady Canyon in, in Irvine, California. One of the reasons that I make these videos is because I've helped families move from out of state, even out of country. And we find these videos extremely helpful in, in educating them. And, and we hope that you also educating you about the homes, about the neighborhood, about the proximity, of all the wonderful amenities. This is your first time to channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, working, playing, owning a home in Irvine, California, then please subscribe, click the notification, the, the bell for the notification so you can be the first to know when we upload a new video. And please do take a look at other videos. We have a neighborhood vlog where we take on a driving tour of Shady Canyon. We also have a map tour of Shady Canyon that's very informative. And we have the same type of videos for other communities. Hi, my name is Bruce Clark. I'm with Coldwell Banker Realty. Been doing this for over 16 years and absolutely love it. Whether you're looking to make a move in the next nine days or 90 days, email us text us, call us, whatever's easiest for you. And please reach out to us. We'd love you help make smooth move Irvine, California. So pro number one of living in Shady Canyon is exclusivity. There just aren't that many homes. There's 400 total homes, which 350 are, are, are custom. Um, security, high security. There's two guard gated entrances. That's certainly number two. It's located near the 405 and it's easy to take. It's easy to get over to Newport Beach, Newport Coast, Corona Del Mar. Easy to get on the freeway. 405 will take you towards Los Angeles. It'll take you towards San Diego. So all of those are, and those are big positive. Uh, views, homes have great views. Most of the homes certainly hills or canyons. Um, you also have city light views from Canyon Creek. You have golf course views from Boulder View and, and some others. Black Falcon has some. And proximity to schools, excellent schools. Safety, Irvine's considered one of the safest cities in America. Excellent schools, some of the one, one of the top school districts. Proximity to shopping, entertainment. You're not far from the Irvine Spectrum. You're not far from Fashion Island. You're not far from Southwest Plaza all big, all big pros. The, um, um, there's a homeowner association. Some consider that a, a negative also or con, but the pro is they control the, the look and feel of the community. Certainly when you're spending up to uh, 40 or $50 million, you want to know that no one's going to have a pink flamingo house. And that for many people is a pro. There's a community center. There's a local community center, center that's not far. Those are all definitely pros. The, uh, in the proximity, it's just, it's not far from Newport Beach, Newport Coast. So if you want to go to the ocean, you're approximately 20 minutes away. If you wanted to be in Los Angeles, you're an hour away. If you wanted to be in, in San Diego, you're an hour and a half away. So great, great proximity. Shopping, entertainment, culture, same thing. You can be in Los Angeles, you can go to the, uh, the Seagrestrom in Costa Mesa, which is where fashion, where uh, South Coast Plaza, you're 30 minutes tops. So if you want to go to the opera, you want to go to a concert, you want to go to a play, really not that far from a lot of things. Santa Ana has the Bowers Museum, which is a, a, a very good museum also, forgot to mention that. Some of the cons, so some people consider homeowner associations a negative because the cost anywhere from $650 to $1,500 a month, uh, depending on the, the lot size and, and whether or not the home is a custom or a production home. Um, architectural guidelines, positive and negative. For some, they want to come in and do what they want to do and build how they want to build. That's not the way in Shady Canyon. You, 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 it's, a, it's a very strict architectural guideline. There's a thick book, in fact, on it. We have a copy, so if you have any questions, let me know. But, but you can't come in and, and totally change the look of the home, certainly A, without running it by the architectural committee and also permits from the city. Building size, building envelope. You have a set size. You can't build bigger than that. You can't buy a home and add a thousand square feet. There's no home in Shady Canyon. I know that that that's even possible. And you might be able to add the cost of the lots. A lot of times the builders build as big a home as they can. I know a home in Crystal Cove that was over 13,000 square feet. And, and I think they were allowed like 13,000 and three feet. I mean, it was it was close because of the price of the lot. Walkability. Though you're driving distance close to a lot of things, there's not a lot of things you can walk to. If you're on the top of Golden Eagle, uh, you're quite a distance from, uh, from the gate, and you're quite a distance from the country club, the golf, whether it's a golf club or, or uh, the community center. Again, 
that's a that's a positive. You have uh, privacy. And for others, though, they want to be closer to the gate and uh, be able to walk the neighborhood, walk walk uh, walk to all the local uh, amenities and shopping centers and things like that. And that's just not the way Cheetah Canyon is, is structured. The sidewalks are rolled sidewalks, uh, rolled up sidewalks, a la Europe. So there's no there's no sidewalks for the kids to ride their scooters or for you to walk to walk on. So when you're walking the neighborhood, if you have a dog, you're walking the dog. You would be in the street, but they're they're controlled. Um, they have they have a side that that says you can't park here, and so you know it's it's not difficult. Um, I've walked the community, and, and it's just it's not that difficult. However, again, for some families, they want to they want to be able to do a, a, an evening walk, and it it would be tougher, be tougher in Shady Canyon schools. Excellent schools, very competitive. I've had clients that have not wanted to buy in Shady Canyon because their kids were going to attend Uni High, University High School. Conversely, I've had clients that wanted to buy in Shady Canyon because they wanted their kids to go to such a competitive school like Uni High. Very much a positive and a negative, depending on which side of the aisle you're on. So Shady Canyon is a little warmer. It's down in a bowl. It's interesting. It's considered kind of down in a bowl until you get up to the Echo Glen or uh, certainly, you know, a Golden Eagle. It's not as cool as Newport Coast. Newport Coast has a marine layer, same thing Newport Beach. Coastal Cove, you can have a marine layer and it can be up to 20 degrees cooler. Positive for some, and negative for some. It's going to be a li- it's going to be warmer in Shady Canyon than it, is, than it is over on the coast. That's just the nature of the beast, so to speak, as it comes to coastal and in you know, in coastal living. However, having said that about temperatures, there's some nice breezes there too. So I, I've been in Shady Canyon when, when a nice breeze blew through and it probably lowered it a good five to eight degrees. Again, for some, they love they love cooler temperatures. For others, that's just not possible for them. So positive and negative. Access points, you have two access points. You have the East Gate and the West Gate. Some people uh, would like other ways of accessing their, their properties, uh, accessing the community. I don't see that changing, so consider it um, a positive for security, consider it a positive for access, very controlled access. The negative is during rush hour, you could be five, eight, ten cars deep, so a little inconvenient. Um, I've had people grumble about uh, about not getting through the gates as quickly as they like, but for the most part, I just not seen as a big deal. Even coming through the uh, the guest gate is typically not just not that big a deal. You have guards that are driving around constantly, very much a positive. And for some, the negative is they'll try parking their cars certain places and they'll get, you know, they'll get reminded by the security that they can't park in certain in certain zones. Because of the width of the streets, they need to have only one street side parking. The other side will be for emergency vehicles if, uh, you know, if they're needed. So again, they very much want to control uh, who parks where, not necessarily who parks where, but on which side of the street one parks. So positive, negative. Most of the, I, I see that as a, as a big positive because you're not going to have, you know, uh, uh, cars, you're not going to be able to, uh, to double park, so to speak, and, and you're not going to have cars that are stacked on the side. And, and so that it, it's just not, not a big deal to access. Stores, you're, you're, you're not that far from the Albertsons, which is over at, at Quail Hill. That's within about five to eight minutes to go to the larger, the, the bigger shopping centers, 15 to 20 for some big deal for others, you know, it's a drive with a family or it's a drive out outside the gate. So, so um, yeah, positive, negative. There is one pool for the public to use and there are two tennis courts. And then there's some other uh, some other activities there, some basketball courts and, and things. The pool's not big. However, many of the members join the country club how, uh, the golf club. However, not everyone can join the golf club. And you don't have to be a member, you don't have to own Shady Canyon to join the club. That's, a, that's one of the misconceptions people have. It does not give you a preference either uh, of joining. You have to be sponsored, so you have to know members, you have to be sponsored. And of course, there's an initiation fee, which can be substantial. Six figures in the case of the golf club. Um, I think the last social was 20, 25,000 on the social. But again, I'll, uh, I'll update all those numbers. But um, positive, negative positive is you're limited to the number of members that can join the club so you're you're assured when you're out playing golf that you're not going to be stacked you know three three or four deep waiting for waiting for someone to hit the ball uh, the negative is that if you're not if you're not already a member 
it's not that easy to join. Again, positive, negative on that one. And um, that's pretty much all I have on Shady Canyon. It's it's a wonderful community. Again, one of the most exclusive golf course communities, certainly in, in Southern California, perhaps the country. You'll find homes anywhere from from uh, 3,800 square feet up to 15,000 square feet, full range of architecture. It's, it's, it's a wonderful community. I'd love to help you move there. If you have any questions, give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email. Absolutely love to help you make a smooth move, Irvine, California.